Welcome back, CSE 3200 Yukon Stores. We are in video four of chapter 12. Uh, yep, that looks right because we are on this bullet right here. We're going to create a data access object to interact with our database. Uh, so right now we have created a database um, by setting it up in three simple steps. See the last video for details. Um, but we can't test it yet. Uh, we need to do a couple more things before we can do that. And the first is to create this uh, data access object, which basically allows us to interact with the database. So um, data access object could be pronounced uh, DAO or uh, DAO, rhymes with cow. Uh, and it is an interface. And I don't know that we have actually used the keyword interface yet. Uh, this might be the first time. Uh, it's going to contain functions for each database operation that you want to perform. And you might uh, guess and expect that we have two because that's how many um, functions we put into our database in the last, uh, in, in the last video. And that is true. We're going to have two functions and it's going to allow us to access that data and edit that data. And here is the code that we are going to put in. Um, with some explanations. We're going to use the DAO annotation that lets, the, um, that lets Android know that this is going to be uh, an object that is going to be able to interact with our database. Uh, and um, I didn't mention this in the last video, but uh, Room, which is what we're using to create our database, uses um, SQLite. Um, some people might pronounce that SQL, SQL SQL. It uses SQLite. And we're not really going to go too deep into all the functions, um, but um, one that you need to be aware of is the at query, which is uh, one of the functions that sounds a little like debatable, like what, what does that word mean? It's not one we typically use. Uh, in English, I would say a query is a question, uh, but that basically means that we are pulling from the database. Query is a command for pulling data from the database. Um, and we are going to annotate this, or I'm sorry, we are going to put the, um, the modifier suspend in front of the function. Uh, so now we can call these functions asynchronously through a coroutine. And our uh, two functions are going to be what you see here. This first one is going to return the entire set of data, all the crimes. Uh, so we'll probably need that to populate our list. And then the next one is going to get a specific crime at a specific um, ID, which was our primary key. So let's put this in our code. So we want to once again right click our database and put in a new Kotlin class. And this is going to be crime DAO, capital C for crime, and only the D is going to be capitalized in. Uh, DAO, data access object, DAO, and hit enter. And then we are going to annotate it with at DAO, at DAO, uh, requires an import. And then we are going to say that it is an interface. Uh, because it is an interface, we cannot create an object of type uh, crime DAO. However, uh, Room will have functions that will give us the abstract class that we can use. All right, so let's put in our two functions at, at query. And quotes, I'm sorry, in parentheses, put in double quotes. Select in all caps, space, uh, star, space, from, in all caps, crime. Uh, let's bring in query, alt shift enter. And then suspend, fun, get crimes, paren paren, colon, return a list of crime objects. All right, first function down, got to import crime. A 
at query, I am going to, I'm going to click get all of this. Actually, let's do all of this. Okay, because I'm going to use most of that. At query, select from crime, where, in all caps, ID is equal to a specific ID. Uh, end my parentheses. I uh, believe that looks good. Suspend fun get crime uh, singular ID colon UUID outside of the parentheses colon crime import UUID. Okay, so we have one more thing that we need to do in this video, we need to register our DAO. Since the crime DAO is an interface, Room will handle the generating of the concrete version of the class for us, but we must tell the class to generate an instance of the class. So we need to go in to database crime database.kt here. And inside of the curly braces, we need to add abstract fun crime DAO paren paren turning a crime DAO object. All right. So that is it. Uh, let me get this line off of there. Um, that's what we were set out to do in this video. We have now set up a, uh, a data access object. There is uh, one more step before we can interact with the database at all. We're going to get to that in the next video, uh, and that is to create a repository class. Uh, once we do that, we will then import some pre-populated data from, um, from Big Nerd Ranch's uh, website and once we have that we can get to see uh, 100 unique entries and uh, yeah be able to interact with our database so on to video 5 see you there